Hi guys, this is Dr. Samali Azar. Uh, what I'm going to go over is going to be uh, lower extremity musculatures, which are going to be a series of them. We start from the top and we're going to go all the way down. Uh, from the top, on the anterior part, which is part of the posterior retroperitoneal part, this muscle is known as a psoas, and this muscle here is known as the iliacus muscle. Usually, these two consider to be iliopsoas muscle, which are very important for the hip flexion. We're going to come from the anterior part of the leg all the way down, and we're going to talk about some of this muscle. The first one is going to be this long, snake-looking structure here. This is known as the sartorius. Sartorius is going to be sitting over the leg. As I remove this sartorius from here, now I'm going to be exposing my quadriceps, which are four muscles. Right down the center, I'm going to have the rectus femoris. On the medial side, I have a vastus medialis. On the lateral side, I have the vastus lateralis. And underneath this section here, there's another muscle which is known as the vastus intermedius. You come to the lateral part, you can see this little muscle here, which is known as tensor fascia lati muscle, and is attached by way of this band, which is known as the ilio tibio band all the way to the lateral part of the uh, knee region. From there, we're going to be moving to the posterior part of the body. This big muscle right down here is known as a gluteus maximus. If I remove the gluteus maximus, I can expose the gluteus medius. There's also another muscle underneath this one, which is known as gluteus minimus, which is known shown here. Then there's a series of a small muscle located here. This one is known as your sciatic nerve. The first muscle above the sciatic nerve is known as a piriformis. The first muscle below that one is known as a superior gemellus. Then you have the obturator internus, then you have the inferior gemellus, and then you have the quadratus femoris. Then you come to your hamstrings, composed of three muscles that on the lateral side you have the biceps femoris. On the medial side, you have two muscles. You can see this muscle here, and this is the edge of it. So this muscle here is known as the semitendinosus, and underneath it, I have the semimembranosus muscle. So semimembranosus, semitendinosus. From there, if I go to the medial part of the leg, then I'm going to be getting the first muscle here, which is a very prominent right down the center, known as gracilis muscle. Then you have the adductor magnus. This one is adductor longus. And this one, little one here, is known as a pectineus muscle here. From there, we can move to the lower leg, starting from the one that is located right in front. This is known as the tibialis anterior. Most commonly, people get a problem with the shin splint. is because of this muscle. Right next to it, I'm going to have the extensor digitorum longus. Go a little bit more to the lateral side. I'm going to come across the pronius longus and pronius brevis, which nowadays they call them fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. You go back to the back of the leg. You can see these two belly structure. This is part of the muscle known as gastrocnemius. And underneath it, you have the soleus. If I remove this gastronemic belly, one of the belly here, I can expose two muscles. First muscle is this one with this long tendon known as plantaris. Then I have this little muscle here, which is known as the popliteus. Remove that one. Underneath it, I have three muscles. One, two, and three. The first one that is sitting right down here, this one known as the extensor digitorum longus. This one is a tibialis posterior, and this one is known as the flexor palisus, I'm sorry, flexor halysis longus. So this one is going to be the flexor digitorum longus. This one is going to be your tibialis posterior, and this one is known as your flexor halysis longus. And these are the muscles that uh, produce our lower extremity. I hope that you found it to be helpful, and thank you for watching.